Greetings fellow Decepticons, Sandblaster1987 here with another Kamen Rider Roleplay Weapon and Item Review. This time I'll be reviewing The Wizard Driver from Kamen Rider Wizard from 2013. Unlike most of the Heisei Phase 2 Rider Belts, this one is actually exclusive to the main rider as Wizard was the only user of this belt. The White Wizard Driver on the other hand is pretty much the opposite as pretty much all the villains of the show use the same belt for that one. So, as you can see here, the Wizard Driver is mostly metallic silver with a few silver chrome pieces and of course a big black hand in the middle with the gold trim chrome outlines. And these sliding pieces here allow you to switch the hand from left-handed mode to right-handed mode. That's going to come into play later when I switch on the electronics. Now, Normally, the Wizard Driver would come on its own with the Flame and Water style transformation rings and the Kickstrike finisher attack ring for the yeah, spell ring gimmick. However, my version of the Wizard Driver came with a ring holster included, which also includes the Driver on transformation ring, which allows you to well, activate the Wizard Driver when it's camouflaged amongst your normal belt. So, to switch it on, there's this switch on the underside here. It's a later model of belt, so the straps are removable on both sides with these spring-loaded latches. For ease of displaying functionality, I'll be removing the strap for the remainder of the review. As you can see, the back piece of the belt strap has an octagonal cut gemstone shape, like the flame-style ring. So I'll leave the strap to one side. So, for the transformation, you want to use the Wizard Driver in its left-handed configuration to scan the Henshin style rings. And to use the Finisher Attack or the Driver On ring, you want to have it in right-handed mode for scanning the spell rings. There's an infrared signal that comes from a bell buckle and lights up a little light in the middle of the palm here. This infrared signal scans a computer chip in the ring to tell the driver which sounds to make because it identifies which ring is being scanned. The infrared signal is also powerful enough to light up an LED bulb inside the ring, which I'll show off when I actually get around to it. So, to switch on. As you can see, the light up section of the palm here has a white light in the middle, but it's going to show off the shape of the uh, Kamen Rider Wizard's flame style faceplate. So, before doing any transformation sounds or anything switch from this to where spell mode as you can see the yeah the light changes color when used and the rings glow because of the LEDs in them that scan by the infrared code from the belt. All of the rings have a removable finger loop, so you can swap it out for replacements for larger fingers. I don't currently own any of the larger ring load replacement pieces, but luckily my fingers are slim enough that I can still hold the rings like so. In order to use the ring holster, the rings attach this way and then twist to lock them in place. So. Before I actually use the transformation, I'll show off the fact that the Kick Strike actually has a generic blank version of its sound effect when you use it without a transformation. So that's what the generic blank Kick Strike sounds like. As if Wizard would be able to actually use that when transforming or break as a civilian human ankle, but still. So, first and foremost, Flame Style, Wizard's default transformation form. There's a flip down visor to make it disguised as a normal gemstone cut ring, so. Having the visor up or down doesn't affect the transformation or any of the sound effects because it's not connected to the chip code inside the ring that's scanned by the belt. So, switch it to spell, or from spell to transformation mode, and... And now Wizard is in his default standard flame style transformation mode. 
So, if I use a kick strike ring again, switch it back to my spell mode, like so. and violent now because of all the fire elemental attacks used from a flame style ring. There is also a cross for water style ring which I'll now demonstrate. Of course, there are more rings that I can demonstrate, but I don't currently own any of the additional spell ring 2 packs or the dragon style transformation rings. And the land and hurricane form transformation rings come with a sword gun accessory weapon which I don't currently own. Stay tuned for future reviews to see that. In the meantime, the water kick strike. makes out which way around the spell and henshin rings go. For example, if I were to try to use the driver on ring in henshin mode, that's an error message that tells you you're using the wrong type of ring in the wrong mode of the belt. Now, before I close off the review, I'll show how the, yeah, spell, ring, holster actually works. You can either just slide it on to the strap before attaching the back piece and connecting the two together, or you can flex the handle a little bit and just sli slide it into place like so. Now, there is, I think, a holster for the wizard sword gun that comes with that set, which will attach to the other side of the, yeah, wizard driver belt strap. But, for those that wanted to see the ring holster and the belt connected together, this is what they look like combined. So, that concludes my review of the wizard driver and the ring holster. I'll get around to reviewing more wizard ring packs later on this year. Till then, I have been Sandblast1987. Join me next time when I'll be reviewing the Shokugan modeling project, Dai Zujin a 6 inch Bandai Japan model kit depicting the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Season 1 Megazord in its original Japanese stock footage form. Till then, till all are one.